<laughs> Please. Already? <laughs> I don't know you. Yes. I look, looks different with them? <laughs> yes. You Your just, head looks bigger. He just noticed. <laughs> Once you notice something. What, hap what happened to your uh, to your normal glasses? Did you uh, shoot your eye out like Ralphie Parker? No. Pulverized? Here they are. Here I've, I've got them, but they're broken. I keep having to super glue them together because they're they're busted. There we go. There, okay, that, that's, that's 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 the Johnny I know. That's better. Okay. <laughs> Those are different glasses. These are the <laughs> wow. Wow, thirty three people already. Hey everybody. Are we on? This is Johnny Bean with the old glasses. Um, what? 5.14 p.m. on the dot. We can hear somebody on the phone. No one's on Ge the phone. January 22nd, 2019. What is that? It, there's a lesson going on in, in the kitchen. A lesson on what? Uh, uh, um, Meatloaf. No. <laughs> Kindle lesson. <laughs> Meatloaf. All right, let me pop this chat out. Okay, now I think I'm ready. Awesome. Awesome. We got, we're close to 50 people sitting here. Already, we got David Nesdal. Yo. There he is. And Jay Hannon. There is with, with the nerd Halen shirt. That's right. Right on, man. Yep. And it fits after throwing it in the dryer. Can you believe it? Awesome. When the tag said pre shrunk, they meant it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the, the Tessie switch right there. Yeah, I need one of those. Those are nice shirts. Mm -hmm. oh, real nice. Mm -hmm. Real nice. So, who do we got here? We got Thrash Metal and Fun Riffs. We got Vincent. We got Amanda. We got uh, Jared Frost. Oh, this is this is moving now. Ben Coombs, Terry G G and G, John B L, Broken Chains, Will, John, Marvin, Murray, Jim Nicholas. Hey, Jim. You know, guys, it's almost getting to the point where there's like so many people in the chat that we're just going to have to uh, skip roll call. <laughs> Dan Halen. <laughs> Dan Halen. I was actually, I was talking to another Dan Halen today, actually. Another guy with the same name on YouTube. Isn't that weird? <laughs> hey, Sean. Sean Zimmerman. Good to see you. Hey, John. Good to see you. Adam EVH. Mr. BHB Bruce, thank you for the message the other day, man. You rock. Hey, does Desiree want to uh, <laughs> get in here? Uh, you just want to talk about Kindles? Sorry. Huh? I know it's okay. <laughs> Gives her a look. It's fine. <laughs> Hey, the new guitarist. How new are you, man? Did you just start playing? <laughs> you know, it'd be funny if, if Desiree was in the kitchen doing a YouTube show about Kindle lessons. And then soon enough, she'll have more people watching than us. And she'll be telling Dave, can you keep it down in there? I'm, I'm <laughs> live on YouTube here. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. So you're going to, let me guess. You're going to start a, a Kindle. You're going to tell us. That you're gonna do a Kindle thing, and then all of a sudden it'll be a Van Allen one, right? <laughs> I get it. I get. I get yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Well, maybe now I'll be blocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, Shauna. Shauna, good to see you. Yeah, good to see everybody. We got 64, 66 viewers. Man, what is it? Is it the Nam? Is that what it is? It must be. Man, man, that's everybody's looking forward to that. The Nam Slam. <laughs> <laughs> man, 
Wow. Well, hey. So do you want to show uh, what's what's? Well, everybody knew about the uh, the shark anyway, but now it's official that it's actually on the website to stay. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you got? Do you have? Do you have it pulled up? I do. Let me see. You have it pulled out. <laughs> Let me uh, make sure I don't get any text messages through here. So obviously, here's the man. That stupid light I have, man. It's it's too bright now. It's the shock. It's the shock. The shock. Two the A's. S H A A K. Shock. The shock. Mm -hmm. I can't read all that. There's no way. Keep your hands straight. We'll read it right here. I, I can't. I have the shakes, man. Put it. Get, get closer. Slightly closer. And then who's going to read it? A little closer. My, I'm charging my phone. Or charging cable isn't that long. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh, it, oh, Dude, too it's close. right up to it, man. Whoa. There, right, right there. there. Okay, everybody, pause the video right now. <laughs> <laughs> We'll on the replay, we'll I mean, not not live. Not live. <laughs> well, if you guys, if you want to watch that, actually, if you want to read that, go ahead and pause the video, read it, and then come back. Or just, you know, go to the website. There you go. Or yeah. Let me uh, let me just skim through. Well, I'll show the. Uh... Oh, okay. oh crap! I'll show the pictures. Hold on. I'm Keep there too. Presented. I'm there too. Now, if you guys remember, that guitar was on the site, but not none of that information was there. It was it was that picture in the place of the star the star guitar, right? Mm -hmm. But now it actually has the the spec sheet. And is your phone broken? Yeah, your screen is cracked. No, that that's that's the picture. <laughs> my um my screen protector is cracked. I gotta tell you, the stripes on that guitar look they look pretty darn close to the real thing. That's the that's probably the closest he's. Uh, He's come to making a guitar look like one of his. You notice, you notice where the uh, where the the bottom uh, strap pin is. Uh, no. Yeah, it's 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 uh, right on the the neck joint. It's in the what? No, the bottom one. It's in the middle of that V. Oh that yeah, v yeah, 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 yeah. That's where it is on the real one. That's where it is on Eddie's. Well, let me go to the neck. My arm's getting tired, man. You know, I got to start lifting weights. I guess I can't hold up my phone for the uh, for the show. Got to start doing iPhone curls. Man. There we go. There it is. You it's see the small. MSRP on this bad boy? No. How much is it? Two grand. So it's probably fifteen ninety nine. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's that photo, and then we got a super duper close up of a blurry screen. <laughs> Doing a real good job there, Jay. Yeah, I know, man. Johnny, you want to take this over? There it is. There it is. I'll do the next one. Okay, you did the next one. I'll do the next one. Let me... And okay. then Dave does the next one after that. Well, I mean, the thing is, the next one is actually the one picture that was put out. You know, the one that everybody saw was that. Jim Nicholas, it's not a replica. It's a right tribute. There. Yeah, yeah, it's a Stripe series, and so it, it's a tribute. It's not, none of, none of the Stripe series are supposed to be exact replicas. Okay, and these these other two pictures were they were they were on the site before. Notice there's the the EVH logo on the the truss rod cover there. That's very cool. And then the back of the headstock. Nice. I love how the uh, the tape. I'll zoom in on mine real quick. The tape, you know, where the tape tear is. Mm -hmm. Love that. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. That reminds me. I don't know if if uh, 
think it's like I can bring it up. Somebody had said on the 5150 guitar, you know, the, the part on the, the, the bottom horn, mm -hmm. somebody said that's the tape is ripped there as well. The, wait, on the on, on the real one. On the real one. On the real guitar. Dave? You mean in between uh, in the in on the inside of the bottom horn? Mm -hmm. That red mark, that <clears throat> red line that goes through it? Yeah, that's that's rip tape. Yeah, that's where it, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> cool. So anyway. Hey, um, Jason Wade, good to see you, man. Jer Jared Frost. He he's super excited for this guitar. What did he say? He said something on on Facebook. He was gonna. What did you? Hey, Nerd Halen's in here. Hey, man. <laughs> cool. What the heck? I think <laughs> I think Ellie put a piece of cupcake in my drink because I just took a sip and it's like stuff in it and i'm like what is that but it's, it's that's like nothing it, that's 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 actually a rated g version of something that i did to a buddy's drink ew man what, what too much american pie huh ew. well you know I'll, I'll tell you a quick story there was a story where uh, i worked with this gentleman at uh, guitar center for a long time and we'd have lunch together. So he'd, you know, I'd say, oh, you know, order up Chinese, make sure there's no onions in mine. So he'd order fried rice, extra onions all the time. And I'd freak out. I'd lose my mind. And, you know, it, I'd, I'd, I'd be picking onions out and my lunch hour would be over. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't, wouldn't have even eaten yet. So one day I got so upset with him that I took his coffee cup, his, his styrofoam coffee cup that he had, that he had. And I went to the bathroom with it and did my business and put it in his car and it stayed like that for months before he knew what it was. Oh my god. <laughs> to this day we have we have fun talk, talking about it. Talk about taking something to the next level. <laughs> I don't like onions either, but I don't know if I do something like that. I was mad. I was mad, you know, and and at that time I was super fat, so I was about I was all about food back then. Mm -hmm. But not onions. No, I don't like I don't like no I I don't like when people mess with my food. So if someone messes with my food, I get even. Actually, I don't get even. I get one up. Uh -huh. When they bust that's their not onions, one up. That, that's like a hundred up. Yeah. Uh huh. Like Michael Smith says, busting onions. <laughs> Bust your onions. <laughs> Um, Speaking of Michael Smith, man, I gotta tell you, watching that show because I, I got a little loose on that show the other night, the Late Show, and I don't know everybody in the chat who hasn't watched it. I would suggest, uh, in your free time over the next couple of days, go back and watch that because we, we we had some fun. <laughs> I haven't watched it back. I mean, it's like three. It's like three and a half hours. Yeah, well, I, I was skipping through it, and every point that I would skip to, something funny happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sh Shauna Marie Sings said sh she just finished watching all of it earlier <laughs> this afternoon. <laughs> well, she gave us a nice compliment before in the chat here. Awesome. Hey, RJ. Hey, dude. Good to see you. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was pretty epic, man, for the, the debut of the Saturday Night Late Show mm. or whatever whatever that was, Saturday night. 62, 62 thumbs ups, 500 and about 540 views so far, just for a lot of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what we were even. I, I actually have no memory of that show. And, <laughs> and I was fine. I was fine, but uh, Caleb was there. Um, Sean Silas was there. That's right. Sean Silas came in. Michael Smith, the captain. Michael Great Smith stuff with his uh, with his presence. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. If you guys have some time, yeah, check that out. 
Gift um, for a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> R2, R3, Locky Nut. Hey, dude. Fender Double. Guru is in here. John Bullware. John, thank you again for the t-shirts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pack mine for, for the, the trip down south. Yeah. Um, so, speaking of, uh, of, uh, of NAM, so we know, we know for sure there's a shark guitar now it's on the website i know it's actually there it's actually there at the booth right now um anything else anything else you guys are excited to to see that you've heard about um uh new colors on the prs silver sky mm -hmm. colors Mm -hmm. Four colors. There's a blue, a green, a gold, and like a, uh, a sand color. Mm -hmm. That guitar, is that only available in one color so far? No, it's available in four colors so far. Uh, it's like a black onyx, a white color, uh, gray, which they call tungsten, and red, ruby red. Hmm. So there's going to be eight? Eight yes. finishes so far. Yep, that's pretty good for just for a guitar that just money. came out last year. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty good, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I played it. I played it at, at Guitar Center, and I thought it was a little strange for me because it looked like a strap, but to me, it didn't really feel like one. You know, but I think maybe I'll uh, try it again. Well, you know, those things ship from the factory with, with higher action because the fretboard is really curved. It's a well, seven. Should, John, I should like that. <laughs> Not on a seven and a quarter radius. It's tough. It's tough to play that guitar until you lower the action. Oh, I, I have to I have to bring my action all the way up, man. <laughs> you know? When I play the guitar, it's like a claw. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. Jimmy Carr. Jimmy Carr. Is that the comedian or is that our Jimmy Carr? Who's in here? <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw I saw a question. I saw something for me. Oh, where is it? I can't scroll. Dang it. Jim Nicholas, any updates on the Kramer models? Uh, yeah, I think, I think we'll see, uh, I don't know if this answers your question. Maybe I think we'll see, we'll see a bunch of stuff there this year. Finally, after, after how many years mm -hmm. I'm thinking the last time there was an actual Kramer booth, which of course was inside Gibson, inside the Gibson room. Um, what year was that? 2014, either 2014 or 2015. The last time there was an actual Kramer display, a nice one. So I remember uh, Gibson wasn't there. What year was that? Was that last year? Yes. And then the year before that, maybe they had like one guitar on display, a Kramer, and the guitar didn't even look like a regular Kramer. It was one of their other models, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I think. Uh, I think uh, there'll be a lot of cool stuff, and I'll be there. I'll be there. Who else? Who, who do we who do we know that's going? Going to Nam. We got Rob Johnson. He'll be there. We'll finally get to meet after Johnson. twenty years. Johnson. After twenty years of of being, you know, online, uh, you know, Skype friends or whatever. You better, you better put a rubber glove on because. Uh, yeah, I think he's still sick. Oh no, he's he's gonna he's gonna be the culprit of Namthrax. He's bringing it. He's the one bringing it this year. He's bringing it. Yep. <laughs> I'm actually fine. I'm I'm totally. You know, well, I'm gonna put out a warning now. What day do you get back from Nam, Johnny? Sunday. Sunday. Okay, Sunday. Those of you who are going to be waiting for that Tuesday show. Tuesday? <laughs> Tuesday show. 
<laughs> let's make sure this time because I remember, remember that Dave last year. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Yep. Well, like, you and I were waiting, waiting for the phone call. We were waiting for the invite. Yeah, like twenty and, like, minutes to eight, and I was like, man, I wonder if if these guys like fired me before I was even like a regular. And then, then all of a sudden, I get a phone call from Dave. Hey, Johnny, uh, send you a, a, a link yet? I'm like, no. Then like a minute later, oh, I'm sick. I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it, guys. On to, on that Tuesday? Well, yeah, because that Monday, I remember that Monday, I, I felt like a tickle in Maybe my it was throat. The mo- well, that we we, we, we would have been doing Tuesdays then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, actually... Maybe maybe you're thinking like that Friday because I think there was a Tuesday show, but I, I was talking I was talking like this. I had like a strange voice. I, I had a great time at Nam, everybody. <laughs> I want to tell you about the guitars I done seen. It was like, yeah, you guys, it was amazing. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, Jared, you got it, man. He's asked. He's saying uh, he's interested in knowing how the shark plays. Um, yeah, I'll play it. I'll play it. They'll be. We'll all play it. that. That's the thing, though, man. Yeah. Every, the one, the one person that plays that guitar is the one that's gonna, you know, have the flu. And then everybody's, you know, that's why you you keep, you know, you keep the stuff with you at all times. Fist bumps. You fist bump everybody. <laughs> You know, when I saw Rudy Sarzo uh, a few years ago, we fist bumped. And you got pregnant? No. No, no I did not. Well, I, I told you guys about um the, the rubber glove, th- not the rubber glove, but the clear um, glove that somebody I know who's in a huge band, um, when they would do their meet and greet, he would have put a glove on his right hand. I'd like to hear you say that again, actually. What, that he would have put a rubber glove on his right hand? Yeah, but with that hi-hat thing that you just did. I did a hi-hat thing? I don't even know what the hell I do half the time. You lagged, and so you heard like a tss. tss. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I don't don't know that I'm I'm lagging, so it's tough. But anyway, he would do the meet and greets with a a clear, like, latex or, or, like, doctor's, you know, glove. And he said afterwards, it would just be like, you know, yeah. black, disgusting. So that just shows you, you know, everyone's walking around, shaking each other's hands, wiping their nose, sneezing, coughing. Yeah. yeah. Pal guitars. Hey, David Ennis. Just go in a bubble. There, there are two guitars I'd like you to check out, Johnny, while you're there. The uh, Andy Timmons Ibanez and see what new gem type thing is there. See if there's a new gem. I don't think there is. I think there might be. I think there's a gem maybe with a uh, sustainer in it. Oh, that's right. Thank Mm -hmm. Well, make sure to send me a message. And I I plan to make... Go to the Ibanez booth. (laughs) (laughs) Here, write it down. Go to the Ibanez booth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I plan to make another video before before I leave, basically saying I'm going to be at Nam, and if, no you guys, if you guys want to want me to whatever you guys want me to check out to make a video of or whatever, leave a comment in the comment section of that video. You can do it in this video as well if you want. If you're watching this after the fact, um, but uh, hey, Tezzy Switch, hey dude. Look at that. And all good, man. It's all good. I'll see I'll see you soon. Sounds like a threat to me. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 802 Blues is in the house. Um, thrash metal and fun riffs. Brian Stewart. Yeah, uh Jay, everyone's saying that there's a new gem at uh, this year. Hmm. Well, that's exciting. I don't know what that is though. I, I haven't seen any pictures of it. But I really hope it's. I think there's going to be a white gem with with the same sustainer that that Steve has in his guitar. Enough white gems, Steve. I love you. You're, you know, my second favorite guitar player ever, and I love your guitars more than anything. But man, like, let's get some cool colors. You know. Yeah, I'd like to see a road flare red gem. Ooh, that'd be cool, right? Yeah. At, at this point, anything. 
I'd like to see a just a plain old black gem with white pickups in it again. I'd like to see them do a reissue of that mm -hmm. with with a rosewood fretboard and white. No, 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 no reissue. I want white disappearing a, pyramids. A Japanese made top of the line. Well, that's what it is. That's what it would be. Is well, I don't want it to be like the like a the well, what they did with the, with. Well, I don't have it up. No, here. well, it wouldn't be a. It wouldn't be a. a uh, the premium remake. I don't yeah, want. No, 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 no. It would be. It would be a, a prestige. It would be mm -hmm. a, an expensive one. Yeah. But I would. I would like to see them make the the uh, the black gem with the white pickups and the white knobs again, like they did. And I think it was ninety two or ninety three. Because it really is a shame that the only universe they're making right now is the remake or the reissue of the of the black and green one. It doesn't even. It's not even good. It's not no, even, that's that's what I've heard. Like it doesn't feel anything near what what the original felt like. Hmm. It's a shame. Hmm. Very weird. I could keep going about this, but I'm going to stop because <laughs> <laughs> it bums me out, man. You know, it really does. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not I'm not an Ibanez gem dude or whatever. But have you played one? A real one? Yeah, no. A, a, <laughs> like an really? actual real? Yeah, yeah. I've played the um, the uh, uh, floral, an actual one. The the old one or? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the original one from like 87 or whatever. How did it feel? Felt cool. <laughs> Felt I like those I, guitars. I like them. It's just for me, hmm. it's just not, it wouldn't, a, a gem, Ibanez gem wouldn't be my main guitar. Gotcha. You know, just for myself. Um, Frank Corcoran, good to see you, man. It's just funny how those guitars, man, like, you know, in the early to mid late 90s, it was like, you know, you look at those guitars and it's like, what the heck were they thinking? And now you look back like, oh my God, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> also, really quick, really quick. Everybody that's watching, we got 95 viewers right now. Let's hit 100. Can, can we hit? Can we get five more viewers and hit, hit 100? Those of you that are watching, share the video, please, on Facebook, on Twitter, on uh, if you're on Tumblr, <laughs> you know, Tumblr. or just open it up on your phone if you're on your computer, or vice versa. <laughs> or if you have if you have several other accounts that you usually tend to uh, troll us with, can you watch from those too, please? <laughs> That counts. <laughs> so Tanson Tanson asks the question that I want to, you know, that I want to know. Like, how will Ibanez approach the classic neck profiles? I mean, there's a huge difference from what they, you know, the older neck, older necks to the newer ones, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and you'd think nowadays, like they can get as thin as they want if they're putting the carbon fiber rods in there. <clears throat> or doing like three piece necks or whatever, you know, a little extra support there. They can do them thin. Well, you know what? I don't really care to have them super thin. Um, I would just like them to feel like the original ones, you know, like a gem. This isn't super thin. This is, you know, it's thinner than, than say a, a Les Paul, but it's not super thin. It's got some meat on it. It feels great. Well, my universe is super thin, and that's with with no shoulders. That's how I want it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need three more viewers. One more. Come on, oh, let's do it. More. We need one more viewer. <laughs> let's oh. let's just get a hundred viewers. There it is. A hundred more. One hitting. viewers. There it is. All right, we're done. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. One hundred and two. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So do you want to um come back to Nam in a few and discuss the news that was uh that you sent earlier, Johnny, about uh Wrigley Field? We could. We could. That's kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. If it's real. Uh yeah, I don't know what to believe as far as, as any of that. They were saying Eddie Trunk is saying he's hearing things. Now you got man cow saying he's hearing things mm -hmm. you know well i i guess when roth mentioned the whole yankee stadium thing um 
maybe that leads people to believe that something like this could be possible because if they're doing like a stadium tour, you know? Mm -hmm. And so what are you talking about real quick? Well, here we go. I'll show the screenshot. The Can you see? There we go. Radio something. Everything's backwards for me and I can't see it. So Radio journal journalist confirms Van Halen reunion concert. Yeah. But the one thing I saw when I was scrolling through the article that I saw earlier, um, oh, he said he added another source to previous information from Eddie Trunk. Essentially, Van Halen's 84 lineup is gathering for a show at Wrigley Field in Chicago that will have a special guest. The space was reserved on January 3rd. When was um, Roth's interview? The, the one with the... Uh, he, where he was he talking about... Yankee Stadium. Uh, I don't know. Two weeks, right? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Let's just say a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago. It lines up within the date. Yeah. Um, what Now, what's this special guest thing? Brian Stewart is no way, no way, no, not ever would it be Sammy Hagar. Well, that's that's what I thought too. I'm like, wait a minute. It says well, not going to happen. Special guest. Now, I, I that's what I was thinking too. I'm like, no way would number one would, would Roth be cool with having Sammy Hagar listed as the special guest? Like that would be like, wait a minute. I'm thinking the special <laughs> guest. Is, I'm thinking the special guest is going to be Wolfgang playing some bass on some songs i'm thinking special guest is like another band like foo fighters or something that's 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 what i'm thinking or it'd be sammy with sammy fronting van halen and then roth is a special guest <laughs> that <laughs> gary, gary sharon oh man or roth with van halen and then roth solo as well <laughs> as the special guest <laughs> the david lee roth band is a special guest i would love to see that with vi and billy sheehan Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, ask Caleb about that. Caleb was talking about something. Yeah, you guys, go back to Saturday night's show. Go back two videos on the channel here. Yeah, Caleb was talking about something that might be happening at NAM Because the Ultimate NAM Jam or whatever it's called. Um, was it Ultimate NAM Ultimate Night? Ultimate uh, Jam Night. Yeah, but I think they're dubbing it the Ultimate NAM Night. Um, and it, the first four names, three of them are vi bissonette and uh actually and four of them and four of them well she yeah well i'm saying three brett, out of the brett first tuggle? four are those three names is brett tuggle one yeah of them? and he's one of them too right yeah, under the, there as well brett tuggle was the keyboard player that was off the stage for the uh roth band yeah so i have a, a not i don't want to say an inside source who i asked but somebody kind of close to the situation and they didn't know they were like i i I have no idea. I haven't. I haven't heard anything, but supposedly whoever Caleb's been uh, been chatting with, it's it's a possibility, maybe. Mm -hmm. Nerd Halen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, be cool to hear this. You know, that night. <laughs> oh, and there. he's gone. There he goes. <laughs> You start playing, <laughs> you start playing raw uh, vi, and and your your internet craps out. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? It got cut. Yeah, we did have we have 110 people watching though. That's right. Mm -hmm. It was up to 112. Yeah, if you're brand new, subscribe to the channel because starting, well, I guess we'll be live Wednesday as well, talking about this stuff. But uh, Thursday through uh, through Saturday. There'll be nothing but Nam content on this channel. <laughs> direct have from to have some good stuff being posted. Direct from Nam, and it won't. It won't. I mean, it'll be all the good stuff, you know. But we've got a lot of friends that are going to be there. You know, we've got we've got Craig, you know, guitar wannabe. We've got a uh, uh, Mark Kazansky, you know, from Tone Talk. We've got Ron and Rob Johnson. <laughs> They're both going. I think it's going to be. Rob on Friday, Ron's on Saturday. <laughs> Rob, are you watching this? He could yeah, actually he, do that. He could actually do that. He could show up one day and be like, hey, Johnny, great to see you. Show up the next day. Oh, hey, Johnny, we haven't met. You yeah. know, I'm his twin brother. Yep. You know? Um, 
Ben Tom, Coon is going. Brother Ron. By the way, 115. 115 ben Coon is going to be there, so you're going to get to meet him. Ben will be there. Uh, Caleb will be there from Nerd Halen. Uh, uh, what's his name? Pete Caruccio. Pete. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna forget somebody, and they're gonna be pissed. Pete Caruccio. Yeah, he'll be there. Yeah, we'll and... get a lot of email because you forgot someone. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll all be at the EVH booth, like all... Ben Coons. Mm -hmm. Forgot Ben. No, we 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 said Ben. No, you didn't. We did. You didn't. Mm -hmm. We did. No, you didn't. Ben, did we say your name? <laughs> I'm getting you did. somebody's yelling from downstairs here. <laughs> Yeah. Jeannie only comes on camera when she's loaded. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that back. I'm gonna. <laughs> that was funny, man. Yeah, she was pretty toasted. <laughs> that was funny. So anyway, anyway, there'll be all your favorites from from the channel here, from YouTube. We a bunch of us will be at Nam, and we'll. I think there'll be a lot of like, like not just like videos of us, you know, in the booths or whatever. But there'll be a lot of like, like after show stuff, you know, a lot of like party, like Nam party type stuff, which, which should be very, very, very good. So subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and uh, click the thumbs up button. And yeah, yes. tell your friends, yes. tell all your friends. We're nine of those right now. Mm hmm. <laughs> 118 people watching, 49 thumbs ups. Ben said, just but nice. button your onions. <laughs> Bunting? Isn't that, well, that still makes sense, doesn't it? I guess. That's like, that's like a kick, some sort of kick, isn't it? Yeah. Like yeah. talking some new kicks, ones like you ain't seen before. Yeah. Bunting oh. your onions. <laughs> oh, JJ's House of Jams will be there. He's he's super cool, um, and actually, there's a lot of people on on Facebook that I've been seeing that are saying that they'll be there, and they're like me like, like mentioning me in a lot of these posts, saying Johnny, looking forward to seeing you there and everything. So you're, you're gonna get you're gonna almost seem like you're gonna be a rock star at this thing this year. I can already see it right now. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be like the Pied Piper walking down the aisle. <laughs> Fifty yeah, people was, following. Gonna be following him. Yeah. Follow Johnny. Mm-hmm. It'll be, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Cause yeah, I, I do, I, I do see a lot of people there that, that maybe I've met once or twice somewhere or, or don't even know, you know, like I said, that's to me, that's the coolest thing about going to Nam is meeting a lot of you that, that watch, that watch the show and, you know, so definitely, definitely. If you're watching this right now and, and you want to meet up, uh, you, you can always send me a message on Twitter. You can send me a message on Facebook under the Johnny Bean TV Facebook page. Links are down below. You can DM me on Instagram, mm -hmm. you know, at Johnny Bean or EVH Gear Live. You know what I'd really like to see? You on an unblurry screen. Mm -hmm. oh. Am I blurry? I'm not blurry. Johnny, not bad. Yes, no. you are. It's fine. Hmm? No, I'm good. Not on my screen, you're not. Um, Jay's not blurry, but you are. Try my old glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Janice says she's looking forward to the updates. So am I, man. Um, and everybody, if you could, just if you're if you're uh, asking one, either me, Dave, or Johnny a question, just please tag us because right now, man, it the the chat is bumping. It's hard to follow right now. So if you have a question or if you want us to. To see what you're commenting, just just tag us, please. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. JJ, you got it, man. You got it. Yeah, and any anybody that that's at Nam, if you see me, ask for a guitar pick, and I'll give you one. There they are, in tune. Yeah, I am blurry. How many times did you uh, test that autograph? Before you actually said this is the one that particular one, I I, I still have the the okay Dave, am I blurry <laughs> yeah, now, Dave or not? It. Just slightly. Dave's like, no, you look fine now. <laughs> My eyes are crossed because it's so blurry. Mm-hmm. There we go. 
Uh, no, that signature on that pick. Yeah, that was like a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's, well, when did I do that? Seven, eight, about 12, 13 years ago is when I did that. But I still have the piece of paper somewhere with all the different ones. And then that one is still, is like right there. So if I can find it, you know, we'll, we can do a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny's chicken scratch. Uh, That's very funny. Stuff. Well, speaking of giveaways, when Tessie switches, uh, I think when he said he's going to come on after Nam, he might want to do a giveaway of something. So, mm -hmm. okay, cool, yeah, cool, yeah, Tessie switch, man. But you're going to have to be a subscriber and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, and not to, uh, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Newsweek. <laughs> No. Okay, that took too long. To both Tessie Switch um, and this channel. Yes. Yes. Anthony, check out the guitar photos, all custom made in San Francisco in the early 80s. Dude, was that you? I I saw your 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 text, but I didn't see any pictures in it. You do want a, st a sticker plus pick PayPal? Sure. Well What's actually Oh, wait, hold on a second. Actually, let me, let me take a screenshot of this. I'm, I'm getting a feed on my Instagram of some. Uh... Of uh... some guitar companies posting. Oh, of like some tees. So let me take some screenshots. I'm sorry. Go, keep going. I thought you were going to talk about Eliz Elizabeth Hurley's. Uh, oh, no, I followed her. She was getting post from today. Maybe I'll have to follow her again. <laughs> Thrash metal, uh, thrash metal. I'll tell you guys about this strap in a few minutes. Let them finish what they're talking about first. Mm -hmm. Actually, okay, real quick. Yeah, if, if you guys, if you want a Johnny Bean sticker, you can actually get those through the uh, the, the Johnny Bean store, which Nightbot is either putting out in the chat or there's a, there's a link below. The sticker, I've actually never seen a sticker, but I hear the I hear the quality is great. But yeah, if you want to pick. How much? How much is it to mail a pick? Probably just like like a dollar. Well, the whatever first class mail is, whatever a stamp is. Mm -hmm. What is it like fifty cents? Something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, no. It, uh, to send guitar picks, it's non-machinable. So it's about a buck. So I I can do two. So wouldn't it be just cheaper to throw it in an envelope? <laughs> no 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 what, what the problem is because i've mailed so many guitar picks over the years you have to tell them non-machinable because it can't they that envelope with that guitar pick can't run through the regular mail through the machines uh... so i don't know if you if you guys if, if you're watching this and you want a guitar pick paypal me a dollar and you'll get you'll get a pick or two. I'll I'll give you two picks for a buck. Nice. That's more and than you paid for them. PayPal actually takes like, I'm only getting like sixty cents out of that. Hold on a second. You to do the friends and family payment, and you you get you get a uh, the entire amount. Or you're, it's just, not, it's not, hold on a second. It's not a good service. It's not like a a service. You know what I mean? Like just if you're gonna do it, say friends and family PayPal. Actually, and there is a link in the description. There's a donate, a uh, couple links there. Just donate, you know, donate whatever, mm -hmm. and I'll send you a pic. Just make sure to send me your your uh, your address. Yeah. Ooh. And yeah. again, if you're going to be at Nam, look for me, and I'll I'll give you one. A sixty four T bird asks if you can bring a guitar to Nam. Uh, I believe you can. I think it's really, uh, it's it's a hectic thing. I think it's it's. Uh, they make it very hard for you to bring a guitar. You have to register. You have to register it. You have to check it. Even just to even just to get into Nam. Let's say you you've got your badge. Even to get in, you have to have a photo ID. So Ben, all you guys, make sure you have your ID with you. Otherwise, you can't get in with just the badge with your name on it. You have to have your a license. If Ben is coming from Canada, I'm sure he's going to have many forms yeah, of ID. He's going to have a he's going to have a passport. So yeah. We'll have that. Mm -hmm. Don't leave it in the. Don't leave it wherever you're staying. I don't know if they accept that. 
I don't you have to. It has a picture in it. It's a picture ID. Well, photo. I think that's a photo ID. Yeah, not not nothing so, is more important than a passport. A library Do card. Have, I don't know if that will work. Did you guys see the new uh, Fender Acoustasonic Telecaster? Yeah, looks pretty neat, right? There's a a picture of it there. That's one look at, finish. Look at that. Yeah, I I, I, uh, I saw I saw a video of somebody playing one. Look at that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's awesome. Uh oh, somebody's YouTube just crashed. Who just texted me that? Oh, that's Sweetwater Sound. Is, is yeah, there. Sweetwater's post. Yep. So, here's our buddy Larry Demarzio. Pickups posted a, a picture of Larry. Oh, buddy. speaking of Larry, man, Larry w was here. Larry was was he played two shows near me, and I had no clue. On, on Saturday night, when we were doing the, the late Saturday night show, 120 viewers, you guys, thank you. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell. We're doing all NAM all the time from now on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all, every it's show. All it's all every about show. <laughs> hey, guys, NAM's only in seven months. What, what do you think they're going to We're, we're going we're gonna to go live on Very Tuesday. Funny. Hey, guys, I'm looking forward to NAM in 362 days. <laughs> <laughs> Counting down the days to Nam every every show. Uh oh, Dunlop, Jim Dunlop's got some new picks coming out. My video keeps crashing. I think does it? I, we're crashing. We're crashing YouTube right now. I'm telling you. Yep. Ben lost his license for driving too slow. What? <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. Seven. Terry, yeah, photo ID, passport, uh, Nexus Pass, driver's license, etc. You got to bring that with you if you want to get into NAM. You know, uh, uh, and the, the the actual NAM pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, United, that's what I saw. United Federation of Planets pass. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have assumed saw. control. We have assumed control. We have assumed control. But but yeah, Larry Mitchell, man. On Saturday night, when we were like, you know, going crazy, Larry Mitchell was half an hour away from me playing a show down near Monterey. And I didn't know till like the next day. The next day he was pl he's playing a show in Hayward, which is about an hour away from me, roughly. And I'm like, dude, if I would have known sooner, I, I would have come out to both your shows. It's funny because when you say when you say his name, he sounds like a superhero. I am Larry Mitchell, man. Mm -hmm. He's a super. He, he was he was is. one of Jay Hannon's first superheroes. Yeah. Yep, that's the truth. I still have it. I still keep it near, near and dear. Yeah. And yeah. Dave, again, thank you for the guitar picks. You're very welcome. Uh, so I've let me got, show I've real got, quick. I'll show these. I've got like four more in my living in my uh, in my pocket. No. So, so, uh oh. So Jackson Guitars posted Jackson, and of course, what I'm noticing is the background. There's all the EVH stuff, and on this side, you see the the card uh, cardboard cutout of Eddie. Yeah, and that's, then that's the Wolfgangs. That's an actual poster. Let me see that again because that was there <laughs> last year. Right. That I'm wondering if that's last year's. That's last year's booth. Are you sure? It says Nam yeah. Prep, and it's it's showing. This was two hours ago from Jackson. No, dude, it's got that. Uh, actually, well, gray. okay. Let, yeah. let me let me look. I, I've got my pictures from from last year. Dude, look right here. It's this year. Cause look at the two finishes right there. The gunmetal gray or uh, primer gray, whatever. And What's then that the, blue. The blue one, yeah, they haven't shown that one yet with the maple. Yeah, that looks and, the, nice. and the zebra pickups. Uh oh. It's <laughs> okay. All right, that prob that probably is. But hey, where's? Let me find a picture from from the booth last year, just so we can. Uh... And I believe those are specials. Yeah, because it's got new on. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're arch tops. Yep. Yep. So the white one. The blue one and the gray one, they have the new stickers right above. That's cool. I think. I think the blue is pretty hip. 
Yeah, looks pretty neat. Too bad it has a black trim on it. Yeah, what the heck, man? Okay, so yeah, like I was telling you, that poster was there last year. Here's a picture of me last year. There's the poster, and th those are different guitars sitting there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and there's a picture of the shark. Look at right next to the that gentleman's head, right in front of it. You see a picture of a uh, of the shark. That's oh, that, that 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 that's the that's of the, the star. of the, the star. Yeah, that's that's um that's uh from Taylor Swift. What? Paul. That's a, that's a Oh, that is you're right. That is the uh That's a poster of him. Yeah, cuz right. he pl he plays one of those live with Taylor. Yeah. My bad. Okay. And then I also picked up on Jackson guitars as well. Their new some of their new finishes. Oh, the that, crackle that, finish, not the my crackle bad. Finish. Not my bad. There. I'm there presenting you, you just Oh, I'll show it again Fingers. then. Still... <laughs> With the uh, what inlay? What what's the name of that inlay? Shark like a shark tooth? It's kind of is, but Jackson has a specific name for theirs. Looks like a ramp. I'm sure somebody in the in the chat knows uh, what the name for that is, but that's all I kind of have right now. I'm sure over the next. You know, 24 hours, a buttload of stuff is going to be leaking out. Yeah. Mm hmm. Bozik, not that, Paul. <laughs> Different one. If I see Alex Kolnick, please tell him that Bo said, What's up? You've known him since the Berkeley days. John, I've known him since, since Berkeley days as well, too, man. I've known Skolnick since 93. Oh, well, you've probably known him longer. If you're saying the actual, are you talking about the Berkeley Square? That was a, a pretty famous club in Berkeley that everybody, everybody played there. Let's see. Shark fin inlays. Shark fin inlays. Okay. Yes. In my opinion, not as cool as the shark tooth inlays, but still cool. Cooler than the shark none bite in None, nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> James Gum says uh, Ivan has calls there's the Himalayan inlays. Himalayan, like, am I am I falling for a joke here? Is, yeah, I don't understand I, it either. If I read that out loud, am I going to say something that's? Uh... Yeah, John Bulware likes the uh, blue EVH Wolfgang. Yeah, but again, I, me and Dave are on the same page here. They they need to have more of the specials have chrome hardware. It's just, yeah, if I was to buy that guitar, I'd rip all the black hardware off and put chrome on it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. This looks it's something. It's like classier. I don't know what it is about it. It just looks. Agree. It also brightens it up. It makes the blue stand out more. Black yep. hides the blue. That black, black, uh, um, hardware. Nope, the hardware. Finish black hardware hides the color of the guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this, the silver helps it pop a little bit. Yeah, I don't get that. Now, is that a, uh, could you tell if that was a, um, a shiny finish or was it a matte finish? I'll look again. While you're looking, I'm going to ta talk about this strap real quick. Yeah. This strap, this is a, a company that's uh, – the name of the company is Red Monkey Designs. Uh, they're out in California. I s originally saw this strap on a video. Uh, it was uh, – Steve Lukather had this on one of his guitars on his shoulder. And I looked and looked and looked and looked for, for this same strap for weeks and I came across the company because of this, this, you know, this little metal thing that's on here. That's their little monkey, their little red monkey design thing. Little so, logo. Yeah, the little logo. So I, uh, I looked up their, you know, looked on their website, and they had really beautiful straps, but they didn't have this one. 
So I called them up and I said, uh, are you the company that, that made, uh, you know, I saw a strap that Steve Lukather was wearing. They said, yeah. They said, yeah, we made that. There's only, there's only two of them. Steve Lukather uh, had one made for him and some Japanese guy has one. But there, you know, we don't. It's not one of our regular things. It's a special order, and there's only two in the world. I said, "Would you be willing to make a third one?" And he says, "If you're willing to spend the money, we will. We're willing to make the, make the strap." So um, I'm not going to tell you how much the strap is because it's more than a lot of guitars. But uh, my beautiful fiance gave me this as an engagement gift, and uh, it's very special to me. It's a, it's a big piece of leather with real alligator skin on top of it, and uh, and these these metal you know these metal I guess they're like bullet heads, and it goes all the way down the strap, like a bandolier belt. Yeah. <clears throat> um, James Gum wants to know what banjo strap did Eddie use on his fifty one fifty guitar? Not a banjo strap. It's a regular strap with. These ends, let me get these ends for you. Careful, careful. Yeah, watch out now. We've got 122 oh, people watching this. Oh, where are <laughs> what picture are you going to find? I'm going to find one too. I'm not finding a picture. I'm, I'm going to, well, these, it, I don't know if you can see these in here, no. but these ends in here. Hang on, let me take one out. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so it's a regular leather strap, and then it has these ends on it. Cool. And that strap was worn to high hell. <clears throat> and that strap was a strap that he wore. He's been wearing it since, like, 82 on the Frankenstein, except it was turned around. The thin side was on the, was on the upper horn and that, that you know the side that he wore when it was on the 5150 was on the back side mm. yeah actually when, when he was on the very first part of the 84 tour when he started playing the 5150 before it had the the uh space tape mm -hmm. he did use the strap backwards yeah that's the same so, strap right there yeah yeah, that's the guitar when it looked brand new. That guitar, it just, it's so weird. I mean, uh, this might not sound right, but that guitar doesn't look right like that. You know what I mean? It almost, it just looks right when it's uh, all worn to uh, to crap. So, Dave, it looks like this is, it's shiny because there's a some kind of reflection on the cool. bottom of it. I can't really tell, but it looks like there's yeah, a reflection. Yeah, it's cool. The bottom. Yeah. Looks like kind of looks like me when you just show the top of the head. It looks like me on underneath the guitars. I think it has um a white binding as well. Can you tell? Ouch. No, I can't tell. Uh, it might not have any I mean, binding. I don't know. It looks like uh. I don't think you it see has it there. Any. How about how about now? Almost. I think it's a glare. I don't think that's a binding. What does everybody in the chat think? You think that's a binding? Can you can you send that to me? No, man, no. <laughs> Top secret, you know. Instagram, son. <laughs> I tried looking. I, I didn't see it. I'll send it to both of you guys right now. Incoming. Let me see. You tell me what do you think? Nightbot, thank you. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. We've got a thousand people in here. Might as well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Follow. Follow Jay. There's the link right there. Uh, yeah, all the links that Nightbot is putting out there. Make sure to check out all those links. Brandon Buttcheeks uh, says no binding. Uh, Johnny, um, my daughter is downstairs saying, hey, Johnny, hey, Johnny. I guess Jeannie's watching the show, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's binding. I think it's the, uh, the reflection of that gray guitar. But it is cool. Mm -hmm. Really cool looking. And Hi, Ellie. No binding on the headstocks. Well, I mean, hi, I guess, I guess hi, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> well, where are those other pictures? Hi, remember, Ellie. The, remember the ones that that were leaked? 
I don't remember seeing a blue guitar in the leaked photos. I don't either. Um, who sent that to us? Somebody sent it to us, right? Hmm? The leaked ones? Somebody sent that to us. The leaked photo. Somebody yeah. somebody put them on on face on our Facebook. Mm -hmm. The uh, EVH Gear Fans Live Facebook page. And there's a group as well. So go ahead and uh, and uh, join the group. EVH Gear Fans Live or maybe just EVH Gear Live. There's a lot a lot of cool stuff on those pages. Okay. I'm looking but I'm not Wolfgang Amadeus Hannon. <laughs> what? Thrash metal. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Hmm. Yeah. So what? What else? Damn. We got to keep keep it up. Mm -hmm. Well, I know there's some new stuff being announced from Slate Digital, and that is exciting for me, being in the uh, you know, the recording slash producing slash engineering world. I don't know what. Is coming out, but supposedly there's five new things coming out, and I'll probably, probably find out tomorrow or the next day. Mm -hmm. What do they do? What what's like their normal they, product? They make plugins um, and microphones and other stuff. Um, so at a very great price point, and like top of the line stuff too. So mm -hmm. that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's Very cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. And again, everybody, uh, this channel will be nothing but NAM content and footage Thursday through Saturday. So if there's anything that you want me to check out, I'll be there. Leave a comment. You can leave a comment below once the video is done processing. Um, or I guess you could tag me in, in the live chat here. I heard Van Halen is going to be playing at the EVH booth. <sighs> <laughs> uh -huh. Full setup. I heard Nerd Halen will be playing at the EVH booth. Yep. And that's the truth. Nerd Halen. Everybody follow Nerd Halen. Just Google Nerd Halen. And that's that's the, the newest uh, Van Halen tribute to come out. That's they're awesome. Our friend Caleb on guitar. Um how are sparks are we sponsored by nerd Hale? we should be how sparks on vocals you guys remember how sparks i used to watch him on talk soup on the e channel back in right, the yeah. uh early 2000s was that early 2000s or like late 90s what was or, it? it was one of them well there was greg kinnear he left mm -hmm. And then another guy replaced him. Who was the I, guy with the white patch? That was the other guy. What was yeah, his that, I thought that was like the guy after the After Kinnear. Ago. Okay. He was after Kinnear was that guy, I think. And then I think there I think Hal Sparks was on there and then and then somebody else replaced. Um I don't know. That was my favorite channel for a lot of years. Yeah. Um the, the E E Entertainment Television. I used, I used to watch watch that stuff all the time. Hanson. Yes. Was it what was it? Was it jo John Hanson? Jeannie. I think so. Jeannie Hanson. Jeannie Jeannie Hanson. God. John um, Henson. It was John Henson. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you, Claude. Thank you, butt cheeks. <laughs> Thank you, butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Again? says Jennifer says uh anyone here of the new Green Day Dookie pedal? <laughs> Dookie pedal. She's stoked to have it. That's cool. That's cool. I I'm going to have to uh Jennifer, are are you a big Green Day fan? I drew Billy Joe Armstrong owns a guitar shop in Berkeley, California now called Broken Guitars. I drove past there the other week 
and I'm planning on, on stopping in there at some point. Was it like a parts guitar shop or something? You have to like, you know, <laughs> it's just nah. bins of necks, bins of bodies, and you have to like... <laughs> No, it's just, it's just the name. It's just the name. But actually, they they actually sell. If you're a Green Day fan, they they actually sell. I think uh, they're just Billy Armstrong signature guitars that are signed already. They have like a bunch of them sitting there. Yeah, he's a cool dude, man. I I used to see him all the time. I used to see all those guys back in the day. Well, Ben says that Outlaw Effects just announced four new pedals. Pal Guitars says uh, there's a new Eventide pedal coming out. Awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. It's an analog delay. Mm. Yeah. Eventide doing analog. That's just crazy. Brian Davies, good night. He's angry. Why? What happened? Because apparently we didn't answer any of his questions. <laughs> what, what questions were there? I didn't. I didn't. I don't Brian, the chat is busting, man. It's it's hard to keep up with this. Yeah, because the sun sets over his house. He says, uh, Telecaster Tuesday, Clayton, but when I asked Johnny Bean about the Jimmy Page Telecaster, he ignores. That's the first comment I've seen about uh, the Jimmy Page Telecaster. You guys, this chat this chat is, is scrolling, you guys. And Clayton, yes, it is Telecaster Tuesday. Mm -hmm. and yes i did clayton say that as well that uh eddie van halen's birthday is is on saturday january 26th yep that's right clayton jim nicholas says he had a dookie on his shoe mm -hmm. oh nice. yeah let's mention uh tessie switch they have a or he has a new um stutter switch coming out that changes the color I don't know how to explain it. Where's the video? Isn't there? There's a video on Instagram, right? Yeah. Why don't we have him come on and explain it? Oh, he doesn't want to come on yet. No, we got to wait, man. We got to save that. Yeah, I just got. <laughs> Never mind. All right, let me find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Brian okay. Davies. Yeah, he's, he's great, man. We've got that playing in the other room. At Philo shift odd hours. No, uh -oh. oh, there. Oh, yeah. oh I'm, I'm talking over it. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, come on, Johnny. It's your I show. thought it went away. I thought it went away. No, focus, please. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Look at that. Change color. Wow. It's so, dude. Come on. There we I, go. You can see it, even though it's blurry. You can see it. Yeah. That's cool. It is, man. I'll, I'll take a dozen. The next guitar that I get. Oh. Oh, it's it's when it when it goes back to, to black like that, it restarts, yeah. That's a good ACDC song. Mm-hmm. God. Yeah. Everybody gets the and if you want to order a stutter switch, that's who you get them from. I guess they are awesome. Mm -hmm. Tessie switch. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. I love this video too. I'm not going to play the audio, but uh, it changes whatever pickup you have selected or position. See, right now it's red, as you can see, and that's the bridge pickup, if I'm not mistaken, because red is hot red like fire. Ah, yep. yes, hot red. Yep. Yes, bridge. Mm -hmm. And oh, look at that. it's blue. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's awesome. In the middle. Did he change it? Yeah. It's hard maybe to tell on the bottom square that bottom. I have. Maybe middle is green. <clears throat> I would think so. Back to. Uh... <laughs> so it's good stuff, man. Tessie switch. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Oh, good. Well, then it's a good thing I didn't uh, show the video of the uh, play the audio then. So there's another oh, video. Oh, it's green. Now it's, now it's going it's green. through. Yeah. So there it is. The neck is blue. Yeah. Oof. Look at that. And it's hot. Yeah. That's really cool. No, it's hot. Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool in the neck. No, there it's it is. hot. It's yes. cool. It's hot in the bridge. 
Oh, look, the, the battery is in the middle right mm -hmm. there, like like the Frankenstein uh, switch. Yeah. That's a new thing. That's good stuff. That's cool. And thank you, Nightbot. Yeah, anybody, if, if you're interested in any any uh, swag from this program, uh, there's T-shirts, stickers, coffee mugs. They look like this. Yeah, I'm giving guitars away. All kinds of crazy stuff. Right there. <laughs> we have to hit a thousand, a thousand uh, <laughs> people watching to get a guitar, though. <laughs> How many people have to be watching to to get that cutout behind you, Jay? With with what the one with the hole in the? Uh... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Where... <laughs> We're not talking glory hole now. See, you know, oh, I was I was worse, good enough man. to not say anything. Yeah, Dave, we got we got probably a bunch of people sitting here who have no idea who we are. Oh, okay. Hi. So I'm Dave. That's Johnny. That's Jay. They're not here for that. No. <laughs> They're here for finishes like this at the Kiesel booth. Look at that finish. Come on. Is it focusing? I can't tell on that bottom. Not bottom even screen. close. Almost. Push it like all the way forward and then bring it back slowly. There it is. There Look it is. Oh, Look at that. Wow. Yep. How heavy is that low string? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's a 80. <laughs> so. 80? Yeah, no, that, that's like that's like a, a hundred and fifty. You're gonna have to stop by that booth for me and uh, and check it out. Mm -hmm. Definitely, man. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> 127 people watching, 67 thumbs ups. Wow. Let's see if we can get at least 100 thumbs ups. Pretty soon. Uh oh, who's calling in for the show? I don't the know. Brian Davies. Is he in New York? No. Keith. I don't know. R two R three, yeah. That's right. In fact, his name is Keith Richards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. RJ. All right. All right. Again, if you guys want me to check out anything at Nam, just leave. Like, <laughs> once this video is done processing, processing, leave a comment down below. Of of what you want me to check out, and I'll 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 do that. I'll I'll make a video on it. Awesome. Hmm. What other uh, what other booths should we have you go to? Just um, all of all of them. Just the um, EVH. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not going to leave EVH. He's not going to go anywhere. He's gonna uh -huh. have to. They're, they're gonna boot him after a while, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, while I'm, while I'm camped out right there, what other booths do you want me to think about? <laughs> uh, no, Fender has an amazing room. Incredible, incredible. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff downstairs. There's so much stuff. Someone really needs to get in touch with it. Answer, come on. Well, let me just let me. Yes. The show is live, everybody. Things happen, you know. Yeah. No, we don't want that. Come on. No, we don't want that. So give him my phone number. Tell him by someone number. heckling. <laughs> someone yeah, heckling it's, it's, just, it's just yeah, it's it's yeah. But I have your number, so if you call again, I'll actually read your number out. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yep, call again. I dare you. I dare you to call again. Yeah. Give him my number, Johnny. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, Matt Duffy. Hey, good to see you. Kramer Booth. I yes, I, I believe Gibson will be there. Gibson usually has like like a main huge room, and then. It's looking like they'll probably have like a, a main Kramer display there, which they haven't had in, in a number of years. So, 
Um, any new? Uh, <laughs> don't don't show that. Don't show that. Any uh, new um, EVH okay. change? Thank you, Jim. Robert Carcello asks. I don't think so, but um, I mean, they could surprise us, you know. But I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Well, I'm sorry. What, what was the question? Any new EVA champs? No. Nope. Um, we we don't know. I don't think so. We don't know. You know. Although it does look like there'll definitely be the the shark guitar. Definitely, and then it looks like some some uh, standards and specials, uh, new finishes. Thrash metal, be nice, man. <laughs> you know, if you go after one of uh, you know, one of us guys, I gotta I gotta take their side, you know. But uh -huh. I like it, so let's keep, let's keep it cool in here. Uh -huh. Jennifer, you said uh, you've been to nine twenty four Gilman Street in Berkeley. You've met Green Day when they started out as Sweet Children. Awesome. Yeah, I used to hang out at at nine two four as well. Back in the day, back in the early nineties, early nineties, and actually, um, I've met um, I've met Green Day a, a billion times. I've I've sold them a bunch of guitars over the years. Um, but actually, friends, let me just say, friends of of family members of mine are were friends with a lot of the the people that that starred in a lot of their music videos. So I've I've met some of them, like the guy from Geek Stink Breath. You guys remember that that video? No. The guy in the dentist chair. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. I met him in Oakland at a movie theater one time. At, at that's, uh, you know, that's like saying I'm related to your wife's cousin's brother's sister's in law's next door neighbor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are? No. <laughs> um, yeah, they're awesome. Actually, where are my pictures? Not that it matters, but yeah, I the last time I saw one of those guys, it would have been uh, uh, Mike Durrant. I saw him in the Fender room. Actually, I've got a picture on here, but it's from like a few years ago. Um, is Caleb still here? But yeah, you guys, you guys, Caleb, Nerd Halen, check him out. It'll be at that was last year, but he'll be at the booth this year, jamming. You think he'll be there before it opens on uh, on Thursday? He, he might be. He might he probably, probably will be. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. It's like I said. That's the best part of the part of the whole thing is is seeing seeing friends and and hanging out and you know yeah. eating. What do you know about eating, Johnny? Huh? What do you know about eating? Not. I didn't eat much today, but. Uh, does Marshall still have half stack 4x12 cabinets? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like their main thing. They, they won't get rid of those. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, Tessie Switch will be there. Tessie Switch, looking forward to seeing you, man. Thank you, Shauna. <laughs> uh, ben says he's planning on standing in line for a burger with me. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, we'll we'll go to In N Out Burger. We'll have a great time. Hmm. So um we got 115 people watching. Hey. If you're brand new, if you're signed into your YouTube account, you can subscribe to the channel here and click that notification bell. So anytime that I might go live from Nam right here on the channel, you'll get an alert. 
You can see what brand new stuff there is. But also in the chat, let us know, uh, everybody, put it, let's do roll call. Let us know where you're from, where you're watching from tonight. Like I'll, I'll, I'll start off real quick. There we go. That's where I'm from. Chipotle will be by, be by now. I had Chipotle yesterday, R2. Shout out, R2. We got David Nesdahl from Long Island, New York. We've got Tessie Switch from Nashville. 802 Blues is from Vermont. Steve is from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, this is going to get crazy. Matt's from New Jersey. <laughs> Some Dave dude is from Florida. Donnie's from San Diego. Bozik's from Philly. James Gum is from New Orleans. Stanford's, oh, that. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be speed reader. Oh. Uh, I see Illinois. Zach Thong is from, uh, is that Ontario? Bobby is from Toronto. RJ is from Chico. You're from Chico? That's cool. Chico. What's the burger place up there? Murder Burger? You can't say that. Well, it was one word. <laughs> I've, I've eaten there. Is that right? I've been there before. Bone is from uh, Hemet. <laughs> Hemet, California. 802 Blues, another uh, Vermonter. David Ennis is from M Missouri. <laughs> Jaden James from Orange County. Yep. Jaden, we'll have a great time again this year, man. We're going on the third year of Jaden and I hanging out. You know. Wow. Stan Adams is from Fort Smith, Arkansas. Brian is from Toronto. Brendan B. Buttcheeks is from, uh, how do you say that? Pukespe? Pukespe. New York? Yes. yes, where you can't pick your toes in public. Mm -hmm. Chaz Mead, uh, 0627, is from Cleveland. Sean Zimmerman, south of uh, Pittsburgh, PA. Hello, Cleveland. Hey, man. I'm back. Ashley, Michigan is where Jennifer is from. The Green Day fan. Welcome, Jennifer. I love Green Day. They're awesome. Yeah. You guys know uh, Billy Joe was actually, he, he was one of his, his first concert, I think, was was Van Halen. Something like, like that. Like big concert was Van Halen in like 84 or something. You think anybody's having a show right now saying, you know, you know, Jay Hannon's first concert was uh, Van Halen, 1993, Orange County Speedway. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good topic in the chat. What, what was your first concert? Will Varela, you're, you live like 10 minutes away from me. That's who is calling Johnny. Now he wants to find out where Dave lives. <laughs> Ryan, we talked about that Telecaster. The acoustic sonic we just talked about it didn't we no that I'm picture kidding. you showed that was, that was... i know you did <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to see if there's any new uh anything new which i don't think there is right now because it's it's almost seven o'clock where you are so anything that got leaked would have probably well, speaking of gotten leaked, I'll be right back. Oh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that! We got a bunch of a uh, bunch of concerts in here. Pris saw the Almond Brothers. Oh, I'll be right back. Nice. <clears throat> Let's see. JJ's House of Jam says we rock. Thank you very. You rock, man. Thank you very much, JJ. Um, Brendan Buttcheek says Chicago in '82 at the Mid Hudson Civic Center in Poughkeepsie. New I thought you said Chicago. I'm, I'm I'm joking. I know. 82 was his first concert. Um, Chris, oh, he already, he already, he already said Almond Brothers. Let's see. Bozik says uh, first rock concert was April 28th, 1995. Hold on a second. 
we already we must have discussed this already because i saw them april 25th 1995 so three days apart man that's cool hmm. rj says pantera at the whiskey brian cote says motley crew ben coom says roy clark uh genie what was your first concert i should probably know that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. he says, great no idea her first real concert. What? Um, but the one I remember going as a big girl is Fuel at the Chance of Poughkeepsie. Ah. Um, what year would that have been? When was there a... Probably 2000, maybe? Hello. Hi. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> Billy Joel, 88, man. John BL, our producer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got to say it like this, our producer. Producer. Oh, wait, yeah. hold on. John John Biel says that uh, Billy Joel, 19, 1988? Holy crap! Yes, holding the earpiece in. Yep. Wait, what is it? What's that? What's that? What's that? Billy who? <laughs> Jennifer Bearden says her first concert was Slayer at age 14. Yes. Oh, here's another phone call. Mm-hmm. Actually, if if you ser seriously, seriously, any phone calls, if you do want to get in here, huh? um, you got to send me a text at that number first and say, you know, your name and your question or comment. Say that's my the, name. That's the only way. Any unless I actually know you. Yeah. <clears throat> too 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 many cranks. Yeah, John Bolware. He saw Motley Crue's first gig in '81 in San Francisco. Wow, man. That is awesome. Dan Halen is gone. See you later. See you, Dan. Bye, Dan. Bye. Scott Nickerson, you lucky SOB. You saw the Justice Tour. Oh. Stafford's Music. Um, 1998 Fear Factory. Yes. I'm talking about. Quentin James sent you two messages. That's a good well, you. <laughs> I don't know. One of those messages I heard was uh, was a bad word. Uh, man, our our good friend Liquid Charlie, he posted a video playing uh, playing a Les Paul right there. He's looking sharp. Yeah, who is? Huh? Who was that? That's Char Liquid Charlie. Oh, Liquid. Yeah, it's 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 a bummer that we're not going to see him at Nam this year. He's not going to be there. Um, we had a great time last year. Yeah, um, I'd, like to, I'd like to meet him. He seems like a uh, a cool dude that's super down to earth. Oh, Stand dude, up. yeah, Stand up. yeah, Stand he's, up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's very, very cool. He's he's just a normal dude, just a no normal that's dude. A great he's, guitar player. He, he's amazing on the guitar. Yeah. um let's see so we're about 42 minutes after let's, so yeah any we have 76 thumbs up 110 people still watching let's try to get 100 what do you say 100 you, thumbs ups you think we can do that i don't see why not come on everyone Part of the problem might be is a lot of people might not be like actually logged in and it doesn't let you thumbs yeah. up if you're not logged in. A, a lot of people don't even have an account. Mm -hmm. You know, like that, that's that's the one the one bummer about 
about the whole subscribe. I mean, it, it really shouldn't be about subscribers because for me, you know, I've had this channel for 13 years and it was, it was never about, about subscribe subscription numbers or whatever. Um, because most of your views come from people that aren't even subscribed to you, mm -hmm. you know, but, uh, what was I saying there? I don't know. But yeah, to leave a thumbs up, you got you got to uh, at least be signed into an account. I'll do it. Um, Johnny, that amp behind you. <coughs> mm -hmm. Why don't you just get some uh, some coasters for it? Go to Lowe's or Home Depot. For, you mean for my drink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do the old. Z -Z 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 -Z. Um. I mean, do you always have it on the dolly? Uh, just lately here, yeah. I the last show I played in Oakland a couple weeks ago, I had to, I left my dolly here, hmm. and I I, I had to go my to dolly. Yeah, I left my dolly at home. Dolly. <laughs> on the dolly is my amp. <laughs> um, so I I had to go by Home Depot and and, and grab. That was like fifteen bucks for that thing and to roll it you know roll it around i don't know i mean shouldn't an amp be be on the floor at some I point so. i mean yeah. it shouldn't always just be like up above yeah i agree i agree with you yep ain't nothing like a good solid amplifier on a wood floor mm -hmm. but i mean it really depends on like if you're recording you know depends on the room like sometimes you don't want the thing on the floor sometimes you want it elevated mm -hmm. you know what amp is that anyway for people watching that uh might want to know that's, about what's sitting behind you there that's the fender hot rod deville right the 212 yep that's one of the yep one of the best amps out there as far as like a clean tone like one of the best clean tones out there i love it it's a good amp. Good amp. Good amp. Mm -hmm. um, casters are about fifteen dollars. Yeah, I mean, I, I like, I like it like that because you know, a lot of times I actually a lot of gigs, I put the amp on top of a uh, a milk crate. Mm -hmm. You know, those plastic crates. So great. Is that what that <laughs> so is? So crates Johnson. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, excited to see what's going to be coming out, man. Excited. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be crazy, man. I can't, yeah, I can't believe it's here again. Can't believe it. It's fast. I know this year just flew right by. It was like yes, it was yesterday. I was I was just there. Yep. You know. I know. I know it's unbelievable. But you know, I can't believe I'm going to meet Rob Johnson in person after 20 years. You know. Yep. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Dennis, my buddy Dennis just texted me and said, hey, bro, what do you think of the new Boss Waza Dimension C pedal? I said, it's the, it's the best chorus pedal out, and it absolutely is. He says, I love it too. Mm -hmm. That's Dennis? Yeah. Have Ask him, I guess I could do this, but ask him to Google himself and see if I come up as a related artist. Okay. Under that, because if you Google, if you guys Google my name, which I'll wait, I'll do it. <laughs> um, you can do that, and there's related, <laughs> there's related artists down below. Dennis is one of them, which is incredible. I don't understand why. I mean, it's weird. It makes sense that Eddie Van Halen is there. <laughs> 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 do you see that? Do you do you see that section? Where do you? So I'm on. I'm on Bing. Actually, let me go to Google. Oh no, 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 not no Bing. 
Yeah. Hey, what with all Ben Crosby? No, <laughs> Johnny Bean. <laughs> Crap. That's what it says. Yeah, it says absolute garbage. <laughs> Right. Dude, it's got your. F- Never mind. Scott Nickerson says he's enjoying the Dava picks. Awesome recommendation. There you go. Yes, sir. Dava picks. There they are. This is weird, dude. I saw your phone number on here. It says Johnny Bean, and it has your mobile and your Google number right there. And I'm like, does he know? But it says right here. It says from Google Contacts. From contacts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Only you can see this result. I was like, yeah. oh. Yeah, yeah, you're like, Phew. yeah. Um, <laughs> where do you see related artists? How do I get to that? Is it just be like, like down? I'll, I'll show you guys what I see. Mad Dog, what? Uh oh. Are you are you sure it says that? You doing no, that, that, that's, that's, now? That's his recent searches. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not seeing anything like that. I wonder what it says for me. Let's, everybody, let's Google ourselves. <laughs> I'm going to Google myself later on when I get off of here. <laughs> uh-huh. Instant, re- instant credit scores come up. That's nice. Okay. I'll, 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 maybe I'm not the only one that sees this because, um, I checked it on a different device, like a target and it was the same thing. Oh, you're that type of guy who goes into like the Apple store, pulls his stuff up and then walks away from the computer. Does weird. a bunch of screenshots on every iPad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Here, here's what I'm talking about. Right here. Okay, this I, I, I just Googled my own name. Similar artists. There's Wolfgang Van Halen. There's Dennis and Eddie Van Halen. Look at that. Nice. That's so, uh, that's nothing so wrong weird. With that. Nothing wrong with that. I, I did. Don't... Yeah, people also search for Wolfgang, Dennis, Eddie Van Halen, Dave Nassi, Thomas McRocklin. Who else here? Um, Jason Becker, Chris Tompkins, Van Halen, Michael Anthony, Alex Van Halen, Pete Thorne, Mitch Malloy, Chicken Foot, uh, Jay Hannon, Jay Hannon, Jay Hannon, Jay Hannon. Jay Hannon. Damn, a lot of Jay Hannon. <laughs> yeah, on that note, are we good? Uh huh. We're about good. I mean, it's. So I'm thinking since we have 110 people watching, we have 91 thumbs ups. Oh. We're, about to say, we're about to say good night before the NAMM show. Let's get nine more thumbs ups. Let's see if we can get nine more thumbs. For NAM. Nine for NAM. Nine for NAM. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And again, if you're brand new watching this, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and you'll see a lot of NAM stuff. Just saying. And, and then when be, you get back, we'll be talking a lot about the NAM stuff. We'll be talking about we're looking forward. We'll be talking about the, the weekend. And then we'll be doing our countdown. 300. Well, let's see. I get back Sunday. We're, we go on Tuesday. What would it be? Countdown. 362 days to NAM. <laughs> what do you want to see? <laughs> Every show. What do you guys think we'll see at NAM in 25 years? <laughs> and we hit it. 100. All what right. will robots be playing in the future? See ya. Wow. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. It's almost a no-hitter. It was, it was 100, it's 100 to 1. That reminds me. I'm going to have to take this with me to NAM. You are. I'm going to have to. I, okay. I'm going to have to take it. Yep. I'll, uh, I'll put it right here next to my Mophies, so I remember. <clears throat> You'll have to bring yeah. it in booths with you and play through the through the guitar pickups through the amp <laughs> just roll everything to 10 or 11 and just... anything anything i play that doesn't sound good i'll play this through it <laughs> Ooh. or no no johnny when anybody else sits next to you in the same booth when they start playing this <laughs> you know what that sounds like to me 
<laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Horrible. <coughs> Horrible. All right. All right, so we're good? Yeah. All right. Have a great time at NAM. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And there will be, well, today's Tuesday. Yeah. I'm planning on going live tomorrow and talking more about this because tomorrow everything will be like totally like out there. So if you guys, if you guys are around, if you want to go live tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Oh, so this was like a bait and switch episode. Like, hey, ma'am. <laughs> oh, well, by the way, we, we may be going live tomorrow, too. By the way, we're going live again in just 20 minutes. We're going to do this. <laughs> this was the, the, the uh, what do you call it? The warm up show? The warm up show. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, seriously. Awesome. Seriously, tomorrow, tomorrow, there'll be a lot of stuff popping out. Um, so there will be. And I said, I, I'm going to make a video talking about how I'm going to go and have a strict comment section for anything you guys want to see. Leave them in those comments. You know, Johnny, I want to I go see the Kramers. Okay, Johnny, go see the, uh, the what else is there? Well, Whatever else there going, is. You're going to be going to booth 1846 because that's where Tessie Switch is. Okay, yeah, so. Tessie Switch. Yep. You know, all that stuff. Floyd Rose. Yeah. All of it. Um, and then, yeah, yeah. Um, so on the channel here, there'll be a lot of just, you know, all the NAM coverage and footage and whatever. And there'll be a lot of just fun behind the scenes stuff with everybody that's, that's going Rob tone talk, you know, Mark Kazansky, uh, Ben, Ben Coombs, um, Tessie switch. Everybody, everybody's going to be there. Pete, there's Howie. All right. All right. We're gone. We're out of here. See ya. See ya. All right. See you guys next time. All right. Johnnybean.tv. I guess no show Friday, right? Not like no. this. No. No, I'll be. You guys, did I mention I'll be at now? <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be in Atlanta anyway. So <laughs> I can't be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's cool. That's cool. Well, I'm a B where I'm at. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Uh, we're about to hit a hundred people again. We should just we should quit. <laughs> <laughs> Bye everybody. Everybody new watching. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Join yeah. us again. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Hi Welcome Ellie. To... Oh. Bye, Bye. Ellie. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Johnny. Bye, Dave. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Dave. <laughs> Everyone's leaving. Bye. <laughs> now she All thinks, right. like, nor you know. Hey, Daddy. Hi, Ellie. You oh. Say bye. We're wrapping it up. Hi, End of show. Say bye, everybody. Bye. No, bye. 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 Say have bye. fun at Nam. Bye. bye. Fun at Nam. Bye. Bye. Dog. <laughs> <laughs>